Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, before I got get started into it, uh, I've had to drive home twice. So it's not a very good start to the sesh. Uh, the first time I had to drive back was because I left uh, my waders at home. And it's absolutely shocking weather today, Melbourne. It's raining. Uh, it's a bit of overcast as well. So I need the waders. Uh, second reason is I forgot my rod holders. So I already, I was almost at the spot and now I have to drive back home. So yeah, not the best start I wanted, but um, anyways, let's get right into it. So uh, I've, all, I've thought about this uh, series for a while now. Um, I'm gonna call it the road to the 10 kilo snapper or 90 centimeter snapper, either either. Um, you know, it's probably the most sought out after fish in, in Victoria. You know, boats go mad for them, land-based fish shows, put in the serious hours. So, you know, I'm gonna be mostly beach fishing. I'm gonna try and uh, stay away from uh, the local piers because they tend to get really busy and um, I don't know, I just don't like my chances on the pier. So I'm gonna try get them off the beach, which is probably gonna make it even a little bit more harder. Uh, they're really, really rare catches. I'd have to say in Port Phillip Bay, they're probably caught, maybe one a season is over 90 centimeters. So they're really, really rare catch. Uh, it's probably not as easy as the uh, gummies. They get caught more often land base. So, you know, this is going to be a good test. Um, you know, this will be episode one. So just like the road to the 20 kilo gummy, if you haven't checked out that series, check it out. It was a mad journey. It's a mad rush and uh, I'm glad everyone can be a part of that. So I'm hoping you uh, also get around this episode, uh, this series, guys. And um, yeah, I'll be putting a lot of time and effort into it as well. So, you know, hopefully I uh, can eventually land one. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So it might be a four or five year journey, who knows? But yeah, so... I'm gonna head to uh, Port Phillip Bay today. Uh, I'm gonna be running a running sinker rig and also a Padanoscus rig. I'll show you guys when I head down there. And you know, look, the conditions aren't ideal, but I haven't knocked off this early from work in a long time. So I wanna make the most of it. And yeah, we'll see, I'll put in a couple of hours. I'll probably do a five, six hour sesh, maybe even longer. Uh, I might get some early cranking. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens, guys. And hopefully, the reward comes and hopefully you guys enjoy this series so uh thanks for watching anyways um don't forget to like comment subscribe on the channel guys and yeah let's do this let's catch a massive snapper yeah woo let's start baiting up i'm using pilchards and i got the other bag there which is a uh, mackerel Go with the pilly first. And what we'll do is just chop the head off. And the knife's the wrong way. Put the knife back in there. Keep the head to the side for now. Can't forget this. Our secret weapon to keep the bait on. There's the two 3 -oh hooks. Have the hook exposed. Let's do the other one. This one might be a little bit more bulky. It's through the skin and out. That now, our secret weapon. We'll just wrap it up with a bit of bait, mate. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I just caught some bait, mate. Uh, pillies are not really the best bait to stay on the hook. I'll we'll just wrap this up. Let's go a bit ham. I don't want to lose the bait when we cast. Bang! She's done. Let's cast it out. 
to walk in or not to walk in that is the question I'll walk in actually as you can tell it's pretty rough oh, and I'm sinking in so I'm not gonna walk in that far Watch out for a hit now. Let's see what happens. Let's get the other rod out. So this other rod, it's a 10 footer. We're not ideal. It was already set up, as you can tell. Without getting a hit. Not sure if serious. Right, so this is a running sinker rig and that one is a Padanoscus rig. Oh come on fish. Alright, so with the that rig it's only a, a single 4 o hook. I'm gonna try a bit of yakka. I love using yakka. It's a good bait. I'd see a bell. Uh, we'll just use a chunk. Let's give him a good feed. Keep the head here. Keep the knife there. Uh, just the same like I do for gummies. I'm going to pin it once. Through. There you go. That won't come off. And hopefully get a run. Uh. Yes. That's a beautiful cast. That's what I wanted. Loosen the drag right off. And let's hope she screams. <sighs> Good luck. I'll need it. All right, guys. So I'm just down at my location today. I've just uh, thrown the two rods out. Uh, one's a running sinker rig. And one's just a normal Paternoscus rig, so it's always good to have two options. I'm running two different baits. One is a pilchard, and one is a mackerel, so let's hope I can get a fish, guys. That one's sort of getting little hits. So let's hope, let's hope the rod screams and just takes off and I can land a snap. I land a nice feed, I'll be happy with that. I just had a hit. Come on, bear fish. No fish. Oh, that hit hard. Oh, oh, oh. No. Snaggy. Snaggy. Damn it. I had a good hit there, guys. Shattered. So. Oh, look at that, guys. Literally ate the tail. How sad. Look at that. Massive chunk. All right, there's fish here. Fire up, guys. There is fish here. Woo! Let's uh, get another bait out. Look at that. That literally ate half of the tail. Uh, probably just a small fish. One fish better than no fish. This bait will just uh, leave it right there. Let's 
let's just do it like that. Second hook around. We'll go that way actually. So we'll have uh, one hook going one way, the other going the other way. Ugh. Gotta be careful when fishing, guys. The hooks are real. Look at that. If that misses now, that is just bad luck. Don't fall on me. That's bait made it up again. Because it worked, it stayed on. Let's just go to town. Right, don't be scared to put a lot on, guys, because it just helps. It helps to stay on the hook. Uh, what do you reckon? If you were a snapper, would you eat that or what? I'd smash that. <clears throat> so beautiful. <clears throat> go second cast now so <clears throat> whoa first cast was a hit let's see uh oh there's a boat there lucky you let's cast this out wow if i don't catch a fish now that is crazy there's no fish in the ocean Loosen that drag. Let's put the bell up a bit. Let's put it up there so we don't miss a hit. Let's do this. Uh, might give the other one a cast too, you know what? Just for good luck. So have a look at that, guys. It's about four o'clock now, 28 degrees southwest. Boom, 33, boom, 34, boom, 42, might be pack up time then, and 40. So that's what you're looking for when you're fishing for snapper land base. You want a fair bit of wind. So it's only been southwest today all day, and that's perfect for Port Phillip Bay. So we just gotta hope that the fish go on the bite now. There's not much more we can do about that. Um, I think the tide, I think it's run out tide. Let's have a look. So it's peak high in, in about half an hour, and then it runs out, which doesn't really bother me. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, it's only gonna get more rougher, more choppier. It's been raining all day. So hopefully that brings the fish on. Fish on. Yes. Oh, it's got a bit of weight to it. Don't think it's a snapper. Oh. I oh, know there's some rocks out there too, so I gotta be careful. Oh, yes, come on, where are you, fish? First fish of the day, yes. Come on. What are you? It's probably a banjo or something, and I'm right. Go the banjo catcher. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I knew it wasn't a snapper. Come here, little guy. Oh, my hammy. I gotta just pull the hammy. Let's see. I do want to get this hook out, but it's not looking good. All right, let's watch this swim away. Bye, buddy. Thanks for uh, taking my bait. 
Oh, and see you later. Let's cast this one out again. Whoa, that was a good cast, man. I'm even surprised at that one. Bell's on. Let's tighten up the slack. There we go. Bismillah. Let's hope we get a hit. And this is why I don't like to burly during the day. Have a look. Hey, shoo off. But you know, I threw out some burly anyway, just over there. I thought, I have a lot of bait, so I thought I'd just throw some in. Um, yeah, not much action yet, but that could all change real quick. It's starting to get a bit rough. Shoot. Alright guys, so spot one was a fail. I've changed location, so I'm hoping that the fish are around here. Uh, just have to wait and see what happens. I've got the first rod out, about to bait up and throw out the second rod. So let's hope I can get a fish snap up preferably. Let's see how we go. Oh uh, legend, so we're not the way I wanted um episode one to end uh it's got really really windy out there um i had one bite early on landed the banjo and i had another had another little hit there and um yeah i guess it was just time for me to pack up i got work tomorrow uh probably would have got really good after dark but unfortunately i got work so i have to leave it's a weekday but um yeah i guess this episode one started off like episode one on the road to the 20 kilo gummy so you know it's not a good thing but maybe it's not a bad thing so hopefully the next episode I can get onto some serious snap i'll i'll probably try dark after i'll bleh, i'll probably try a session after dark i just think land based they're probably more likely to come close after dark so uh not the best sessions i've ever had um probably caught a cold if anything but yeah that's fishing and uh, that happens sometimes so hope you guys enjoyed watching anyway um yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos cheers guys